Hey guys, it's Dr. Huntington here, and today I'm gonna to take you through several of the oils that you'll find in most supermarkets. Now, uh, some are good for you and should definitely be consumed, and you might be a bit surprised at which oils you should avoid. Uh, healthy oil is important to have in your diet because you need to consume fat in order for your body to function properly. Now, I know that for most of us, you know, we think of fat, and maybe we look down at our stomach or, you know, we look at our legs or, you know, like under our arms. And I mean, we think fat is the last thing that I need more of, you know, uh, but fat, you know, on your body um, that you want to get rid of and the healthy fat that you need to consume to be healthy are two totally different things. Now, eating healthy fat will not make you fat. In fact, eating lots of healthy fat instead of bad carbohydrates, such as bread and pasta and candy and soda and cookies and waffles and pancakes and pretzels and potatoes, will actually help you lose weight. So if you don't eat those bad carbohydrates, but you eat lots of healthy fat, uh, you'll be more likely to actually lose weight. And um, it's unfortunate the name fat associated with the macronutrient and the word fat that we use to describe what's on our bodies that we don't want so much of are the same, uh, uh, but you know, eating healthy fat and having fat on your body, uh, there, there, it's not a direct correlation. Uh, okay, so here are some of the oils that will give you a healthy boost. Uh, the first one I've got listed up here is olive oil. It's, it's uh, you know, perhaps the most commonly known and used of the oils. Uh, it's, it's flavorful, it's got a, it's got a nice flavor. Uh, you can use it for dressings, so a lot of salad dressings. I mean, you can do oil and vinegar is, is obviously a very uh, simple salad dressing to do, but there's a lot of health benefits to it. You can drizzle uh, olive oil on steamed veggies. Um, you can also use olive oil in cooking, like when you, uh, you know, like a light saute or when baking, uh, olive oil will, use, will, will work just fine for that. Now, it's important to know that olive oil has a low smoke point. So it's not a good choice for frying. That's why I've got it listed here as low. You have to be careful. If you notice, if you put olive oil in a frying pan and, and turn the heat up, that uh, relatively quickly, you'll notice the olive oil starts to turn brown and then black. Uh, and you don't want to consume olive oil when it's in that state. So it's not good for frying, okay? So it's for your lower temperature cooking uh, or, or just to eat without uh, heating it at all. Another, another good one to consume is coconut oil. Uh, I've got it listed here. Uh, coconut oil actually has <clears throat> a high smoke point, so it's, it's better uh, to use for cooking, particularly at high temperature cooking. Now, coconut oil also has a lot of other uh, helpful uses, actually topical uses, which is pretty interesting. Coconut oil is good for the skin. Uh, you, can, you can use it uh, on sores or rashes. Uh, if you have kids, you can use it for a diaper rash. Uh, other kinds of skin uh, conditions. Coconut oil is good for that. Uh, it can actually be used for uh, conditioner. Um, you can use it for toothpaste. If you've ever heard the term uh, oil pulling as it relates to oral health, you can actually just take a scoop of coconut oil, um, usually at room temperature, it's in a solid state. You can go ahead and take that spoonful and put it in your mouth. You'll notice it melts pretty quickly and then you can swish it around and uh, you know, spit it out. And what it's actually doing is it's pulling the toxins uh, out from the oral cavity, out around your teeth. And, uh, and you'll notice after you spit it out, your teeth and your mouth feel a lot uh, cleaner. It's very interesting, but um, a lot of health benefits to that. It's a bit of a side note, because we're talking about consuming oils, but you can use coconut oil for that purpose. Um, so it, uh, coconut oil, it has a high amount of medium chain fatty acids, uh, which are very good for energy production. And um, you know, which they're, they're harder for your body to convert, convert into stored fat. So um, it's, a, it's a good healthy type of, um, of fat to consume. Uh, next one I've got here is avocado oil. Um, it also has a high smoke point, so that's good for higher temperature cooking. Uh, you don't have to worry about it burning so quickly. Um, it can help promote uh, healthy cholesterol levels. 
Um, and also, it's, uh, since it's got that high smoke point, it's good for use with, uh, you know, like if you're stir frying or you're sauteing or searing something, uh, avocado oil will work well for that. Um, the next one I have under the avocado or the uh, oils to use is walnut oil. And um, it contains a lot of heart healthy omega 3s. Uh, for that reason, it's very good to consume. Uh, you don't have to cook with it to get those omega 3s, of course. You can eat it plain or or, or use it for cooking or for flavoring. I mean, it has a nutty flavor to it. So it's a good oil to use uh, if you need an oil for use in baking or for desserts uh, because of that flavor. Now, the next one I have up here is palm oil. And then I specifically put in, uh, indicated here, red palm oil. Now, um, palm oil is, uh, is high in saturated fat. And despite the false association um, that has been made between, you know, uh, saturated fat and heart disease. You see, saturated fat is actually important uh, for your overall health. And um, the association that's been made between um, saturated fat and heart disease is, is, a, is a, a false association. There's a lot of health benefits to saturated fat, and, um, and palm oil it has it. Uh, and so for that reason, um, there is a health benefit there. It also has high amounts of antioxidants and vitamins and, uh, and and for that you know for that reason when you're looking at your palm oils you want to make sure that you're using red palm oil and not white palm oil you'll notice if you go in the store and you look at your palm oil there are some that are white that white palm oil has been processed and it's basically been stripped of a lot of the nutritional value some of the stuff we're talking about that would normally be in red palm oil is going to be absent in white palm oil um, so you're losing a lot of the benefit. So make sure you're using the red. Um, it, it, you can use palm oil for uh, flavoring in dishes because it has a, has a taste to it. You can use it for soups and sauces. Um, you know, some other interesting uses, uh, you, know, you can use it for skin as a, as a moisturizer because of that dense nutrient content. It's good for your skin. Um, and actually, because of the high level of carotenes in, in palm oil, you can actually put it on your skin and, and use it as a sunblock. Um, it's equal to about an SPF of 15, uh, but of course minus a lot of the chemicals that you're going to find in your typical sunblocks. Uh, next item that I have on here, I've got grapeseed oil. I've got that listed as a, uh, something you can use at higher temperature cooking, uh, which is a benefit. Um, it's got a mild flavor to it. It's good for dressings. Um, grape seeds and grapeseed extract uh, has, has shown to have a lot of health benefits, um, an incredible number actually. When you look it up, you know, healthy helps develop healthy bones and uh, helps reduce swelling, and uh, it's good for brain health and oral health. Uh, helps with blood sugar regulation, and so of course uh, when we're talking about the oil, it's not exactly the same as you know grapeseed extract, but they're they're coming from the grapeseed. Uh, so a lot of the health benefits that you'll see probably associated with the extract uh, probably translate over to some degree uh, in using the oil in terms of consumption. Okay, so now we're going to look at a couple of the oils to avoid. And to be clear, I basically use these oils in my house for personal use with my family, with our cooking and such. And then I've got a list of, here, of oils here that you're going to want to avoid. Uh, the first one I have uh, listed here. Actually, I'll start at the bottom here. I've got canola oil because that's pretty common. Uh, you know, it's been promoted as being a healthy oil, but it's extracted from something called rape seeds, which, uh, you know, which when they extract, extract the, uh, the oil, they actually use a toxic solvent. Um, another problem is that most of the, those uh, seeds are genetically modified, uh, so therefore the oils are coming from a genetically modified plant. Um, also, this particular oil contains uh, harmful trans fats, so um, it's not a good choice. It's been promoted as a healthy oil. You'll see it, unfortunately, in a lot of health food stores. On their salad bar, they, they promote that, but you don't want to be consuming canola oil. Uh, all, I've got all these guys listed, so soybean oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil. Um, these are, you'll notice these are vegetable oils, right? So they're all listed here as hydrogenated or PHO, partially hydrogenated oils. Now, um, you know, these are made from vegetables, uh, you know, as I mentioned up here. Uh, they contain trans fats. 
let me explain this to you. So here's what a trans fat is and, and here's what's happening. You know, the hydrogenation process, what they're doing in order to increase the shelf life of these products is they're taking a hydrogen molecule and they're jamming it into the molecular structure of these oils. And, and when they do that, you know, the, the oil in its natural state has a particular shape. And when they jam that hydrogen molecule in there, it actually like flips it around. And that's why you hear the term trans fats. It's a different molecular shape. And so actually changing the structure of this, this oil, which is coming from nature, right? So then you end up with these trans fats. And, you know, it's been shown that these, these trans fats actually increase a heart disease risk. And it, it has to do with, you know, how they, you know, they uh, basically get stuck uh, for lack of a, a, of a more complicated description, you know, in, in your uh, vascular system and can start to plug things up. Okay, so, um, you know, there you have it. The next time you're at the grocery store, um, you know, take note of these healthy oils uh, and, and uh, you know, make sure that you are using these in your kitchen and uh, using them when you're preparing food, when you're preparing a salad, and make sure that you get these out of your house. You don't use these for cooking. Don't consume these oils. Uh, I think if you do that, you'll be on your way to uh, better health.